sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Naya Sim or Sim Naya. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the love, the support you all showing me here with. I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about um a Hispanic man who actually said why. He preferred black women and he went further to say that uh, black women are very beautiful i mean they are smart intelligent strong and so many other great things he said about that and then a black a black man i don't know where he is from actually i know he's not Amer african american and he said that uh he prefers white woman why because he is ugly and he does not want to have kids that look like him and i am asking why is it that some of you do not even like yourselves why is it that you all have internalized racism and like you know you all are colorist and all that because it's so very obvious he said he does not like himself he is ugly and this man stood out to tell him i am a straight man but i am here looking at him let me see your face he showed his eyes he's what he went for that to say you are very handsome you are attractive and not until you all stand up for yourself and know that i mean for you to even come out to say that you do not like yourself so you do not want your child to look like you you think that when your child looks like someone from other race i mean that is when it is better but i don't think so I am rolling this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. And straight up, let's get into it. For black women? Yeah, yeah. Because I love melanin. I have found that black women are the most intelligent women on the planet, generally speaking. Black women tend to be the most strongest women on the planet. And I would want a very intelligent, strong uh, woman in my life. And I think that the darker the skin, the more beautiful a woman is. I told you why I prefer black women. Now you have to tell me why you prefer white women. I want to have white kids. Yeah, that's the reason. Say it again. I want to have white children. You want white children? Yeah. Why? I just like white children. The you, don't like, you don't like black children? I just like my kids to be white. Is, you, is that the problem? You don't want your children to look like the father. Not at all. I don't want my children to look like me. I'm ugly. <laughs> Let me see. Don't, bring your face over here. Bring your face. I haven't seen you. You keep hiding. You keep hiding. Let me see. So when you look in the mirror, you don't think you're handsome? No, no, no. I'm not handsome. You are out of your mind, sir. Oh, really? You're a handsome black man. I'm a straight man, but I'm being sincere with you. You should not feel like that about yourself. That is not healthy to think that you are not a beautiful person and to want your children to look like another race. That's unhealthy. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think you feel like that about yourself? It's a long story. It's a long story. Yeah, I really do have my reasons for my decisions. Okay, why do I prefer... Oh, great. <laughs> Let me see. Come, bring your face over here. Go back and watch this entire video so you can get the context. When I say that the self-hate is real, this conversation between this, I believe, is a Hispanic man, a man of Hispanic descent, and this black man, they're having this conversation about black women. The man of Hispanic descent is telling this black man why he prefers black women. The black man, I think he might, I don't think that he is American. I think that he is um, from a different country. He has an accent. And he is saying why he prefers white women. And the black man says he wants white children because um, he does not believe that he is beautiful, that he is a handsome man. He said that he is ugly. And this man of Hispanic descent is doing God's work because it's something he says, something that black women can't say. 
any longer. They don't believe us when, when, when we say it. This straight black, this straight Hispanic man tells this black man that he is attractive. He says, I'm a, I am a straight male, but I'm looking at you, sir, and you're not ugly. This is something we have been saying. Black women have been saying over and over and over again. I would say for the past at least three years on social media that the attacks we get from our, our men are just deflections because they don't like themselves. They don't like the... Like Cynthia Dree has said over and over and over again, they don't like the womb they came from. And it's revealed in this short video that we were we were right all along. They don't like themselves and they have made it their mission to bring black women down because as black women collectively, we are starting to shift and love who we see. We're doing the work because we are loving who we see in the mirror and they don't. And they just feel so angry because they haven't done their work and they are deflecting and trying to bring us down to their level. This really hurt my feelings. It really did. But it, it was good to see because it's something that black women have been trying to tell black men that you're not ugly. That, remember um, in um, school days, Samuel, uh, I think it's Samuel Jackson was in that clip, but Loris Fishburn and the, the, um, the, uh, it's not the college men go to the, the, um, Kentucky Fried Chicken and, uh, they are being bullied and harassed by the local men, black men. One has a jury curl plastic cap on his head and the locals are upset at the college men because every year they come in and take over the town um, and they think this is Samuel L. Jackson saying to the college man Lawrence Fishburne you think that you are better than us and basically says but you still niggas and Lord Fishburne says, you're not niggas. Go back and watch School Days. That was, that was like a deep, I love School Days, but it was a deep scene there between two um, segments of black men. It was the college educated or trying to be college educated. And then there was the local um, who were looking like well, degenerates maybe or um, just sitting around eating at the KFC and not really doing anything kind of late, that kind of narrative. And he said he looks, the college man, looks at the, uh, I think it was Mission College. I'm sorry, I, I get lost in the weeds sometimes. But he looks at him, says, you're not niggas. It's that self-esteem that just... It's so, it saddens me. It really does. Mm, mm, mm. I shouldn't to look like me. Father. Not at all. I don't want my children to look like me. I'm all. Okay, just a quick rundown on what that video is about. There's basically two men. One is talking about why he prefers black women. The other is talking about why he prefers white women. In this video, the guy that's black and is saying that he prefers white women goes on to say that he wants to have white children and he wants to have children that look white and that don't look like him 
and it's crazy and it's sad because he feels like this because of years of brainwashing this is one of the reasons why representation is so important because if you grow up not seeing yourself on tv shows on media you're gonna grow up thinking that you should look like someone else and you got a lot of people out there that have this preference because of internalized racism because of self-hatred there's a lot of people that end up with a white partner and it's not because of that but that's not always the case and we all know that i feel like it's easy to always see one part of things but not actually see the root issue and see where it's coming from self-hatred ain't the way look like me i'm ugly <laughs> Let me see. No, bring your face over. Bring your face. I haven't. This is what I imagine brotherhood looking like. I hope when my son grows up, he has friends like this who reaffirms him and let him know that he's beautiful. So this is all I got from the stations, and I am not gonna lie to you. I think this was really very deep. When I saw it, I was like, "Whoa, are you for real?" I mean, the man saying he does not want to marry a black woman. Why? Because he's ugly. He want to marry a white woman to compliment his ugliness. And the man looked at him and said, But I can see you and I know you are not ugly. I am a straight, black, a straight man, but you look great. You know, we need more of this people, uh, I mean, more of him. And uh, yeah, I love the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me. I love the fact that he actually came out for black women and it's really unfortunate that you know some people actually think like this and that is true some men think like this some of them ended up with uh, white women not because they wanted but because they just wanted something different from like you know they just wanted their baby to look better the one I don't know, but like you know, how can you not like yourself? Because like you already like it. I don't understand it, but you have to really be the one to build the confidence. I feel like people do not even have a lot to do for you when it comes to building your confidence. I mean, you should be the one that will say, "Yeah, I am the owner of myself, and I am the pilot, and I love myself, and you know." I am beautiful. I I can you know words of affirmation, but then I don't know, man. But it really sucks. Some people end like there are so many people like this on earth. There are so many people like this. They think black is ugly because they've brainwashed them and made them understand that yo everything that got to do with black is devil. And everything that got to do with why is the most amazing thing. That is why on uh, like in this in the world you see a lot of people uh, bleaching. They uh, you know trying to look wider than their their colonial masters, and not loving their skins, not loving who they are. And I am asking, why would you have this kind of internal like you know having a lot of internalized race this isn't like you know and some do not even figure that out some don't even know what they are doing some don't even understand it that it's all internalized race this isn't our and all should i say for i don't even know the one to say you know and there are a lot of people like him so many people like him and then come to black women he said he loved them because they are the most beautiful women on earth. Very strong. They are intelligent. So, uh, the darker the, the skin, the more amazing the, our black women are. And a very big shout out to all the white women out there. You all are super amazing. Keep shining. So this is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.